Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the better way to do the application aware routing using the SLA check with the application pro class. So first we need to understand what is it about when we talk about the SLA in the application aware routing. So if you can see here, we have uh, three tunnels created from the controller and three tunnels, which are internet tunnel, MPLS tunnel, and 4 GRTE tunnel. So each of the tunnel, we have the mechanism called the BFD probe. So we're gonna send the BFD packet uh, across the site, across the tunnel. Uh, every one second, we send it uh, out from, from, the other, from one side to the other side. It's gonna be the same in the internet and the MPLS or the 4G LTE tunnels. And the beauty packet we put into the queue zero, which is our priority queue, because the BFD control uh, packet, it's, uh, it has the DSTP marking of the 48. So that's why we put it into the queue zero and send it over the link. And that is good for uh, link monitoring, but it might be not very accurate if the traffic is actually from the users from the PC here to the servers on the other end. And the traffic is actually put inside the Q2 or other queues like Q1 or Q2, Q3, because uh, if we want to see the real experience from the users, we need to bring down the BFD from the Q0 to Q1, Q2, and Q3, according to the, the user traffic. Right, so uh, putting the BFD packet into the Q0, it is not really accurate, but it does have a ability to look at the link performance only. So now we're gonna make some changes uh, to make the BFD packet from Q0 to Q2 uh, and see what, uh, what's happening there, right? And we're gonna see how to configure it. So now we are at the v manage, and if we want to configure the app pro class, so first we need to configure the queue first because we want to put the BFD packet from the queue zero to other queues. So we need to go to the policy and go to the uh, list of the localized policy. And we're gonna configure the queue here, which is called the class map. As you can see here, we have a bulk class and we have a video class. Bulk class is put into the Q2 and video, we configure it into the Q1, right? So now we have two classes, then we can actually choose the class of uh, when the BFD packet will be sent. So let's go back to the policy, go to the list in the centralized policy, going to the app pro class. Then if you create if you create one of them, uh, you can actually select the forwarding class, which is bulk and the video, the bulk, if you remember, is this uh, Q2 uh, at this point. Uh, now the BFD packet will be put into the Q2 and you can select the, uh, the colors of the tunnel that you want to send it over, right? So in this example, I have configured everything already. So I have an app pro class test put in the, to the Q2 default color with the DSTP of 32, right? So this is already done. And when you want to, to use it, you need to select the SLA class and you put inside the, inside the SLA class that you currently have, it will have another option for you to choose for the APPRO class. If you want to choose APPRO class that we just configured, then you can just uh, drop down to the uh, APC test here, right? So, so that means the BFD packet will be also sending over the Q2 as well, as well as the Q0. It's, it's going to be a mix between Q0 and Q2, right? And with this configured, we can go to the application of our routing policy and we tie the policy 
with the SLA class that we configured, which is the BCB test. Uh, preferred color is uh, with the, uh, the default. All right, so I'm not gonna enable this policy at this moment. I just leave it as default so that uh, you know what is a different, right? So at this time, I'm gonna have the branch and the data centers, and I'm gonna send the traffic from the branch to the data centers by using the iperf. Um, and by default, it is put into the Q2 without any of the configuration, right? So let me log into the servers. The server is running, I'm pushing the traffic to the server. Right now the traffic is running and let's look at uh, what's the values that we have inside the, the SLA class, the, the app application. So we go to the real time and we go to the app route statistics. If you do not have anything configured, so it's gonna be in the, the BFD is gonna put into the Q0 still. And you can see this one, the loss and latency jitter, it is very good. But if you know that, uh, if you see here, we are sending the traffic across the WAN, we almost use the bandwidth for, for the link. So let's take a look uh, on the latency that we have right now. If we have another application, maybe ping. Let's see the values of the latency. It is swinging between uh, 84 and 100 milliseconds, right? But the APRO class that we see from the vManage, it still have a very good values, which is not actually reflecting the real, the real user experience. Uh, so, so the administrator might misinterpret it, uh, the values here. So we need to introduce the, we need to apply the appro class to the policy. So let me start activating the appro class policy. Then it's still running and application, uh, the ping has about 87 milliseconds delay. Once it's finished, we will go back to the monitor network and go to the VR101. Go to the real time again, just to check the same way that we just did. App route stats. Now you can see that we have uh, more information related to the app route pass. So here, if you see, we have the app probe class, which is the APC test applied, and the mean loss, mean latency, and jitter is actually different, and it's, it's actually different from the Q0, because this one is the Q2, because uh, we have a policy to put it into the Q2, versus this one is, is in the Q1, right? We can see that, uh, it has a lot of delay, a lot of loss, and also a lot of jitter as well. So uh, this is actually reflecting the user experience. If you compare these values to the branch uh, response time, it's, it is slightly, it is the same. It is uh, considered, uh, it is the same. So yep, that is the benefits of the features of the app pro class. So this one, it is very useful. So you can uh, consider using it when you want to really look at the user experience uh, when you transfer the traffic over the web. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.